Let's look at some inconsistency in the NHL player safety decision making, starting with cross checking. A couple of years ago, Robert Bortuzzo was suspended four games in what Department of Player Safety deemed not a hockey play for this cross check to a down and vulnerable opponent with significant force that resulted in an injury. Here are Sam Bennett and Michael Bunting at the net front. Bennett was fined $5,000 for a cross check to the head of Michael Bunting. Here you will see them battling in front of the net and Bennett cross checks to the head and neck area intentionally with significant force. The cross check to a downed opponent doesn't come with significant force, but it is notable given the Bortuzzo comparison. Here's Austin Matthews and Rasmus Dahlin. Matthews was suspended two games for this cross check to the head and neck area. It was intentional and forceful, similar to the Bennett cross check. Matthew Barzell was fined $5,000 for this cross check to the head and neck area of Jan Ruda. He has a couple of these examples. This happened to be the best one. Jared Spurgeon was fined $5,000 for this cross check to the ankles of Pavel Buzhnevich. It's a cross check to the vulnerable area and there was significant force involved. Let's look at some headshots. Michael Bunting was suspended three playoff games for this head hit on Eric Chernak. The puck isn't there and it is interference. If you look at this angle, Bunting clearly makes the head the principal point of contact and an injury results on the play. Evander Kane was not suspended for hitting Nick Suzuki here, even though it was a chicken wing. Mikhail Sergachev was suspended two games for this hit on Mitch Marner. If you look at this, it's a blindside shoulder hit to the head, even though he sees Marner leaning forward on the play. Steven Samkos was not suspended or fined for this hit on Dylan Cousins because it wasn't a blindside hit, but he leads up and through the head to the principal point of contact when he could have gone through the body. Here is Kale McCarr's hit against Jared McCann in the 2023 playoffs where he was suspended for one game. McCarr assumes the puck will be in the area, but it isn't, and that makes this interference regardless of how he sees the play. He drives McCann's head into the glass with significant and unnecessary force. Here is Tom Wilson's seven-game suspension as a repeat offender for concussing Brandon Carlo of the Boston Bruins. The head is clearly the principal point of contact. There is significant force. Here's Nikita Kucherov's 2018 hit on Sammy Vatnin in the playoffs. It's a blindside hit. The head is the principal point of contact, and Vatnin did suffer a concussion on the play. There's motion upward toward the head. All in all, a very dirty hit. Let's look at some other bad hits. Here's Tom Wilson, eight days before the Brandon Carlo hit, getting nothing for this late hit. Wilson is not even in the frame when the puck is batted. He has opportunity to change his path and doesn't. It's a late hit that went unpunished. Here's Jordan Eberle's hit on Andrew Cogliano that resulted in a fractured neck and went unpunished. Eberle has time to change his direction and doesn't. If you look at the slow down play, Eberle tries to hit the shoulder even though Cogliano does not turn at the last second, misses, and we have an unfortunate result with a really scary injury. While it may have been an accident, this is still suspendable. Here's a Vander Kane hit on Nazem Kadri that ended up breaking his hand. He missed one game in the playoffs. He pushes him in the back in a dangerous area far from the boards, and an injury results on the play. Here is Paul Byron's hit on Pierre Engvall. He was not suspended for this play. Here is Dylan DeMello sticking his knee out and not being suspended or fined when he clearly sticks his leg out to clip the player, changing his path in the process. This is a dangerous hit. Here is Uri Slavkovsky's two-game suspension for boarding Detroit's Matt Luff. He skates through the numbers of the player, that is down on his knees, and if you look at the angle coming up, he clearly drives his face into the boards. Luff had a concussion and required 16 stitches. In a similar play, Kucherov drives Evander Kane into the boards and was not suspended because there was no serious injury. 
Let's look at some non-hockey plays. Tom Wilson drives Bujnevich's head into the ice and punches him while he's down. He then pulls Panarin down by his hair and slams him on the ice in a choke slam fashion. No supplemental discipline at all. Here's Nikita Kucherov slew footing and not getting any supplemental discipline. There are many instances of this where he can avoid it and chooses not to. Here is Nikita Kucherov actually kicking a player without punishment from the Department of Player Safety. Finally, here is Anthony Mantha cross-checking a down Claude Giroux's head into the dashboard. Who knows what we're going to get? 